All right, another video showing more evidence that Billy Graham was in fact an agent of the Roman Catholic Church, an agent of the Jesuit order, a Jesuit temporal coadjutor is one way you could uh, put it. You know, he wasn't a full-on Jesuit, but he definitely was advancing the agenda of the Antichrist Roman Catholic Church. And also should be pointed out too that Luke chapter 6 verse 24 down to verse 26 does warn that the false prophets will be loved by the world, they'll be loved by the lost secular world. That was most certainly true of Billy Graham. He definitely took some stances that were good. I have an article on my website about, you know, some positive things about Billy Graham. That's what it's titled. And he did he did take some stances that were true. But you see, that's how Satan operates. You know, he comes as an angel of light. His ministers, they may well speak some truth. They may well take certain stances that are that I would agree with. You know, that, that are in line with scripture, to properly put it. Doesn't change the fact they're still ministers of Satan. And that was definitely true of Billy Graham. He was a friend of the Antichrist spirited Roman Catholic Church and their Pope, you know, who is essentially a picture of the Antichrist. Shown that in other videos. But Billy Graham openly said his goal was not to lead Catholics out of Roman Catholicism. There is a, a book by David Cloud. I don't agree with everything David Cloud, you know, puts on his website, but he definitely has a lot of great material. One of which is his book about Billy Graham called Billy Graham's Sad Disobedience. And I'm just going to read some excerpts from that, just showing the fact that Billy Graham was an agent of the Roman Catholic Church. He used to speak early on in his ministry. He started off really good. You know, he did correctly say that Roman Catholicism, Islam, and Communism are the three greatest enemies of the gospel. But you see, uh, that's how temporal coadjutors work. They may speak against Rome. If he was one from the beginning, he's just simply speaking against Rome to cover his tracks. There's, there's that. Or he was just corrupted by Rome later on, by Rome's money which means he was never born again to begin with, which is a whole other side issue, but uh, the whole uh, aspect of that. But he openly, uh, his goal was openly stated to not lead Catholics out of Roman Catholicism. In his 1990, this is what the book says on uh, Billy Graham's sad disobedience. This is um, uh, the PDF thing, the PDF copy of it. Page 19 says, uh, Goal not to lead Catholics out of Rome. In his 1997 autobiography, Just As I Am, Graham said his goal was not to lead people out of Roman Catholicism. He says, quote, My goal, I always made clear, was not to preach against Catholic beliefs or to proselytize people who are already committed to Christ within the Catholic Church. Rather, it was to proclaim the gospel to all those who had never truly committed their lives to Christ. That was, his, uh, that was on page 357 of his autobiography. Committed to Christ within the Roman Catholic Church. Which Christ? You see, just because they, they profess they believe in Jesus Christ, well, it's a, it's a false Christ. Paul, the Apostle Paul warns about false Christ. They are most certainly committed to Christ within the Catholic Church. But you see, the Christ of Roman Catholicism is not Jesus Christ. It's not the uh, Christ of the four gospel accounts. It's not the biblical Christ. That's how you put it. Roman Catholics do believe in Christ. But you see, their Christ is, is a false Jesus. It's another Christ, like Paul warns about in 2 Corinthians 11. So... Uh, either he's ignorant or he's just tipping his hat to the false Christ of Roman Catholicism, which is most likely the case. So that, yeah, he's right. Catholics are indeed committed to Christ. But you see, their Christ, the Christ they're committed to, is the spirit of Antichrist. I'll just throw that out there. To be put it blunt and brutal. Uh, this is on uh, page 18 of, of uh, Cloud's book. Catholic Bishop uh, blesses Graham's converts. The Roman Catholic Bishop of Sao Paulo, Brazil, stood beside Graham during his 1963 cr crusade in that city. Interesting how he calls it a crusade. Uh, to uh, basically bless those who came forward for the invitation, Graham said uh, this illustrated something tremendous. An awakening of reform and revival within Christianity was happening. Talking about the Catholic bishop blessing his thing. It's an awakening and revival of Christianity. You know, which I don't really call myself a Christian. It's not really... Uh, they, the, the early church didn't call themselves Christians. They were given that title by, the, by their persecutors. But he's referring to, to uh, Roman Catholicism being... What he, what he thinks is the faith that Jesus Christ started. No, it's not. He was uh, just basically in the back pocket of the Vatican. Now here is also he thinks the Pope is an evangelist. David Cloud's book, uh, page 19, says, you know, the Pope is an evangelist. In 1979, Graham called Pope John Paul II the moral leader of the world. This is in the Religious News Service of 19, September 27, 1979. He also called Pope John Paul, uh, said that Pope John Paul is the most is almost an evangelist because he calls people to turn to Christ. Again, which Christ? The Christ of the Bible or the false Christ of Roman Catholicism? I mean, Muslims, they'll, they'll talk about Jesus Christ being a prophet, but again, which Christ are they talking about? It's not the Christ of, of the Word of God. That, that's where the confusion comes in. See, Catholics, because they profess to believe the Bible and they profess Jesus Christ, that means they're born again. No, it's not the case. 
Uh, this is in Cloud's book, page, this is on page 20. In a lengthy article about the Pope in 1980, Graham praised the Pope as a bridge builder and said Pope John Paul has emerged as the greatest religious leader of the modern world and one of the greatest moral and spiritual leaders of the century. He may well have some morality, but you see morality and being born again are not the same thing. The Pope preached a false gospel of baptismal regeneration, of worshiping Mary, you know, it's insane. Uh, it says, after visiting the Pope in 1981, Graham said we had a spiritual time. Well, I'm sure, I bet you sure did. You see, Satan is very religious. That's the thing about that. Satanism is not your, you know, you, uh, Marilyn Manson, you know, that kind of stuff. Satanism comes in the form of Christianity. So, they, yeah, I definitely agree. They did have a spiritual time. Spirit of Antichrist is what is going on there. Graham made the following statement about the Pope's address in Vancouver, British Columbia in 1983. I'll tell you that that was the most straight... Is it, sorry, that was about a straight and evangelical address I've ever heard. It was tremendous. Back in, That was back in 1984. Foundation Magazine, 1984, Volume 5, Issue 5. Yeah, tipping his hat to who his masters are. You know, we had a spiritual time. It was an evangelical address. Yeah, evangelizing people to the false gospel of Romanism is what Billy Graham did. Did some people get saved from his crusades? Yeah, but it was, it was in spite of those crusades that they got saved. It wasn't because of them. Billy Graham was leading people back to the false, you know, Antichrist false cult of Roman Catholicism. Why? Because Graham was a Jesuit, likely a Jesuit temporal coadjutor. If not, if he wasn't that, he was at the very least just an agent of Romanism, pushing people back under the control of Roman Catholicism. Early on, he started off really good. But when Rome's money seeped in, if he wasn't a Jesuit temporal coadjutor from the start, because you do read in the Jesuit oath about speaking against their own church to cover their tracks. So if he wasn't a full-on Jesuit coadjutor from the start, Rome's money definitely corrupted him later on when he went apostate and accepted, you know, Roman Catholics as being born again. When Roman Catholicism, Roman Catholicism and the biblical faith Jesus Christ started are as different as night and day. I'll put it like that. Roman Catholicism is ancient Babylonian sun worship. You know, it's it's just the Roman, the Greek Roman pagan religion just Christianized. That's all that is. They took the Greek Roman pagan religion and just, you know, basically repackaged it. So, you know, you have all the, the false gods of Roman, the Roman religion now become the saints of Roman Catholicism. You have Mary, you know, who was Venus or Diana of the Ephesians. You know, the statue of Jupiter became St. Peter in the, in the, in the uh, Vatican. Who, by the way, their statue is, the feet is actually, the foot of that statue is, is melted away because so many Catholics have been kissing that thing. But you see, they're not idolaters, apparently. Yeah. Don't be deceived by Billy Graham, and don't be deceived by the Roman Catholic cult who he was an agent pushing, to basically who was the agenda he was pushing, I'll say it like that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.